I promised you guys an update on my health and some meditations on the scriptures I'm looking at. But first, before I go into that, it is beautiful outside and I want to show you my wife's garden. So come with me on a quick tour. Hey, Penny. Penny, you want to go outside? You want to go out? Let's go. Last time we were out here, all the irises were in bloom. They're gone. And now the roses are popping up. The thing I wanted to show you is just the vegetable garden. So we've got peas, some peppers coming up here, cucumbers, zucchini. Then over here are tomatoes. These little guys were grown from seed, so they're not quite as far along, but there are a lot of blossoms on the tomatoes. It's amazing how productive the earth can be in producing uh, fruit. And then we've got lettuce over here that we've already been harvesting for salads and stuff. I think I need to hurry up. The skies are starting to look threatening here. Looks like we're getting set for an afternoon thunderstorm. I had to duck under the roof because it's really starting to rain right now. I gotta go because it's starting to hail and I wanna get my car in. Luckily the hail is not that big. It's pretty small. Well that came on quick. Got the car in the garage just in time. So it was just 85 degrees when I was in the back garden trying to shoot the video back there. And by the time I came through the house to see if it was hailing out here, it um and pulled the car in the garage it's dropped to about 70 degrees it's probably below that now i guess that's what happens when you throw a bunch of water and ice in the air all at one time i wanted to do a short vlog today bringing you up to date on my health and the first thing i want to say is that i have had 12 days of my heart staying within sinus rhythm, which is really incredible. It's very encouraging. I'm very glad. I'm thankful for all the prayers and concern people have expressed concerning that. And the second thing I want to say is that's about all I know. I can't say much more beyond that. I have another series of tests and cardiologist appointments the first weekend of July, and we'll see how things are going. I really wanted to show you guys the garden. Every year it just amazes me what my wife is able to do out there in the dirt. The fertility of life is absolutely amazing and it's scary at the same time. This is the whole problem with the coronavirus. I'm kind of reminded of the parable of the mustard seed where the smallest seed is thrown into the garden but then it becomes the greatest of trees. Here we have just the opposite of that. It's a virus, it's the smallest of life form and it's gone out into this incredibly fertile field called humanity. And it is just reproducing and wrecking havoc around the world. If you get the chance, check out Deutsche Welt. It's the German national television company, and they have an English broadcast of their news, and they do a phenomenal job covering coronavirus around the world. American news tends to be very insular in my opinion. It really focuses on just the United States or paraphernalia associated to the United States. I mean, a great example of this is if you watch the weather, how many times does the weather pattern stop at the Canadian border and the Mexican border? It's like these two countries never have weather at all. But anyways, Deutsche Welt does this great service of reporting on coronavirus around the world. So you can learn about what's going on in Argentina and Ecuador, Yemen, India, Pakistan, even Afghanistan, Southeast Asia. It's really quite an amazing service that they offer with their network of reporters around the world. I've actually been for 
three bicycle rides now since the beginning of May. And I am feeling pretty hopeful. And where do we go from here? Well, right now I'm teaching a course on the parables for Fuller Theological Seminary. The second thing that I've got going right now is one of my former students in charge of young life for the college ministry here in Colorado Springs. Three years ago, he asked if I could help him train guys to do a 100 mile bike ride is a fundraiser. We got three guys, did the Buffalo Classic, rode 100 miles and raised money. Last year, we had five guys ride. This year, I think he's got quite a slew of people going and he's asked if I could participate in it. So my goal here, if God wills, I'm really learning that lesson from James very well, do the 100 mile ride with them. It's the first week in October. Some of them, uh, you know, they don't even show up with a bicycle. We have to procure a bike somehow for them to do this. I'll help them put together a plan so that we can take them from where they're at now to get them so that they can do the 100 mile ride. But it is amazing to see their commitment to help Young Life here in Colorado Springs make, raise money for their ministry. That's my goal. So A, teaching the class on the parables. As far as the ride goes, I'm probably going to be starting off with the beginners, developing time and fitness on the bike. That is it for today. And of course, now that I'm just finishing up, the rain and the hail has stopped outside. But that's Colorado. If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. Thank you.